<coughs> I'm sick. Hello. I have a raspy-ish voice. There's a cat in the background being very naughty. Will you please not do that? Lululemon, my favorite workout brand for the aligned pants. Love them so much. Came out with a brand new line. It is a skincare line. They came out with a five piece collection. I bought four of the five pieces to do a review and tell you my thoughts on them. The fifth piece that I didn't buy was just another scent of a deodorant. I was like, I don't need that one. So we're gonna go through the ins and outs of this collection. I'm also barefaced and in a robe because we are getting stripped down and it just didn't feel right wearing makeup or really getting ready this morning because it's summertime and I'm not about that life. Okay, the box came in. Usually Lululemon ships in a bag, so having the box was just different. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from them in a box and it has skincare all over it, so I know this was specifically to like keep everything protected. Inside it came with the packing material to keep it safe. And I did not buy this. I, they've never just thrown in something. So the fact that they gave a travel bag made me so happy because they're, they're not about freebies. Let me just tell you that, that it's not a thing. Inside I have everything that I purchased. Let's dig in. Let me find the actual opening. Okay, the first thing I'm going to tell you guys about is the basic balm. So this is a lip balm. My love in life is chapstick. So I had to buy this. It was $14, which is pricey because I buy $1 cherry chapsticks. So it came, I personally first initial thought was like, the packaging is so cute on everything. It's just like, cardboard you can recycle it it's very protected like this is a thick cardboard but then I showed it to Anthony I was like doesn't that seem like really excessive did they need to package that in there and then I was like mm, probably not it's like more luxury but I can see where it's wasteful so I do want to point that out thank you Anthony for being that person. It's in a very like matte rubberized container. The feel is very nice. It feels like a $14 lip balm, if that makes any sense at all. I'm wearing it. I wore this. I've been wearing all of this stuff for the past three days because I really wanted to give you my actual thoughts on it. I love this. I'm someone where I have to have chapstick on my lips at all times. Like it has to feel like there's something on my lips. I'm very specific about what lip glosses I'll use and what chapsticks I'll use and I really like this and that is saying something because I rarely like anything other than my cherry chapstick. Oliver's on the floor making that noise. It's not sticky whatsoever. I will give it a 100% stamp of approval. I went to the gym with this and I will spend like usually about an hour to an hour and a half in the gym. If it's a cardio day, no more than an hour. And I was doing a cardio weightlifting mix the other day and I spent somehow an hour and a half, which rarely gets that much, but I think it's because I was mixing the two. I put this on before I went to the gym, did not take it with me, and I did not need to apply it the whole time. Usually by the end of my workout, just with my cherry chapstick, I'm, they're begging for some, like they're thirsty, you know? And they weren't with this. So I am going to keep this in my gym bag because it is perfect for that. Main ingredients are shea butter, jojoba oil, and natural beeswax. I don't know. Is that good? I don't know. The whole collection is supposed to be more natural. So, first product, you should buy it if you're into this type of thing. But if you're someone that doesn't want to spend money on chapstick, obviously avoid this. The next thing we're going to pull out is the face moisturizer. I was very nervous about using this because my skin's very sensitive. I get breakouts so easily. Like if I try a new product, usually within a couple hours, like I will have a full on breakout if I'm gonna have one. It's just how my face works and how it's always been. This is the Sweat Reset Face Moisturizer. I got this in a trial, trial size, no, travel size. There's full size and travel on some of the products. So this is one of them. So this is $28 and the full face full-size one is $48 so you know I was not gonna buy the full-size one 
I think the travel size is sold out now. Everything else is still in stock except for the travel size of this one. But, okay, well, let's keep going. Um, this is a triactive formula. Instantly rehydrates, cools, and rebalances for calm, clear skin. It's spill proof. The pump is gym bag friendly. I will definitely say that is true. And it's weightless gel texture for breathable and perfect for sweating. All of that, all of that is true. I actually really like gel moisturizers because I am more an oily type gal. I will get dry spots sometimes and definitely not in the summertime. Uh, so gel is usually what I like to stick towards because it helps my face not get extra oily. Again, the packaging is a little excessive, right? Um, this is a really sturdy container. It, and it came with like a strip on it, so it wasn't going to come apart regardless. They had heavily protected these things. And then I didn't realize that this isn't even attached here. This is just another add-on. It's just a rubberized bottom. It's like a non-slip bottom. But really, does that make any sense? I don't think so. Again, they're going and gearing towards a more like luxury, you're getting an expensive type product. And it does feel that way. So if you are someone that loves packaging, I get sucked in by it. They did a really great job on their packaging, but it does lean a little more towards being excessive. And maybe if they had spent less money on packaging, the prices could have been down a little bit. I don't know. Anyways, this is what the bottle looks like. The pump is great. You literally just twist it and it like clicks into spot and then you twist and yeah, it clicks again. It's like, I don't really feel that. Um, it is a gel formula, but it is the thickest gel formula I've ever had as far as gel moisturizers go. And I've tried quite a few. Usually when I use gel ones, it's more like, it feels a little more watery, but this one feels somehow like a non-gel face moisturizer. I'm wearing it now. I've been night and morning wearing it for the past three days. No new breakouts. This gets the Britney seal of approval for not being a product that's going to at least break me out, but I will tell you, I have like, like I have an active breakout here and I've been using this on top of it and they are starting to go down. So I know it's not like, it's not giving me worse acne. If anything, it's helping it heal. Um, it's not supposed to do that though. I'm just saying I'm not breaking out with this, which is great because then I can trust it and I have a very, very love-hate relationships with a lot of face products and I'm happy that this didn't break me out seeing as though I spent $28 on this, which is a lot for me. I would go through the ingredient list, but I can't pronounce any of this stuff. Um, but I will say that it's supposed to be, I think, made with a lot of natural ingredients. Algae, I know that. Mm. Some of you skin gurus, if you can just like go onto the website and figure it out for us, if the ingredients are like, you know, approved by dermatologists and anything else. I have a feeling Lululemon did a lot of research behind this collection just based on how they are in general as a company, but again, not an expert. Okay, moving on to the next thing. So far, the two products I pulled out, loved them, great. The next one is the deodorant. Uh, packaging did not come in a cardboard box this time still has like the rubberized bottom I got a travel size deodorant this is the aloe lotus the other scent was like black pepper and wood or something of that nature I'll look in a second this is an anti-stink deodorant it's supposed to be made with a lot of natural ingredients and it's supposed to be cooling I did not get that sensation no Instead of cooling for me, it was an intense burn for about 30 seconds. So, tomato, tomato, I don't think so. My skin did not like this. On the other flip side, I did notice that it worked pretty well with containing, I didn't smell bad, um, and I did feel like it helped with me not getting as sweaty. But, I think I would rather sweat than have the burning sensation. That's just me, I don't know. Also for any of you that get upset when you get white marks on your shirt from deodorant, it is very clear and will not get on anything, which I do appreciate that because I hate having deodorant on my shirts. I get it on all the time. It's just a problem we have to deal with. Travel size, this was $12, the full size is 18. 
I would say if you aren't sensitive and you don't get that like burning sensation, the burning went away. Like it didn't linger, okay? I'd get the full size if you're gonna go towards this. I probably would not repurchase this personally because I don't, like that's not, I don't wanna like have to burn for a while. Obviously my skin doesn't like it. I'm gonna probably steer away from it. It is aluminum free for any of you that were curious. The very last thing that I got is the dry shampoo. This is their no-show dry shampoo in the travel size, which was $18. Full size is $34. I so wish I would have bought the full size of this because this was like the star of the collection for me. I have never used a dry shampoo this nice. It doesn't leave any white residue in your hair and it just gives you a very matte finish. I will insert a clip real fast of me using it after a really intense and gross sweaty workout and show you guys what had happened. Okay, just finished a really nasty sweaty workout. I did half an hour of cardio and then I followed it with weights and I normally only do like 10 minutes of cardio on weights a day. So my hair is real, real ready for this I almost said hair deodorant, um, sort of, dry shampoo, basically. Let's see what happens. Ooh, looking beautiful. I actually think that that worked super well. It gave it a very, like, mattifying effect let me take you into better lighting looky it looks like i washed i know okay whoa dry shampoo i know how it works it's just it normally doesn't feel like this like it feels it doesn't really feel like there's anything in here there's not that like nasty residue i honestly didn't think that i would like think it was anything special compared to other dry shampoos but like it literally feels clean. What? Hmm. Okay, well I'm giving that a really big thumbs up. I will repurse, I'm like feeling my fingers now. Like it's, yeah, yes, love it. It made me look like I had literally just showered and like blue dry my hair. Love this so very much. If you take one thing away from this collection is that if you are someone that loves dry shampoos, this one works beautifully. It makes like even running my hands through my hair, like normally you can feel like that texture when you're using dry shampoo and just feels like there's something there. Like it literally didn't feel like anything, but holy crap, this is a holy grail dry shampoo. Will I go out and buy a $34 spray can all the time? Absolutely not absolutely not but when i want to treat myself for sure i will so that was my review of the collection my favorite product obviously dry shampoo second favorite product i don't know probably a toss up between the lip balm and the face moisturizer clearly my fail of the collection was the deodorant because it just didn't work for me and that's okay. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried anything or if you know of any product line or launches you are super excited about. I might be willing to test them. I don't know. I just really love Lululemon, so like this was a no-brainer for me. Anyways, I'm gonna head out and I will see you guys super soon. Bye!